service mode. All right, today I'm gonna perform the battery health test that Tesla makes available in service mode. Service mode is intended for Tesla service technicians, but they did recently make it available for regular folks like us. So if you go into your software menu in your model number in the software menu, you can type in the word service, all lowercase. Click OK, you'll get this warning message. It says caution, it's only for Tesla technicians. And then after a few seconds, you'll get the service menu. There's a lot of things you can do on here. I'm not gonna go into it now, but if you go to this lightning bolt for the charging and then HV system, which you just saw, you can click this service test. <clears throat> now this service test, it does include a portion of it to drain the battery down much lower than what you normally would keep your battery. You can see here, maybe it's about three or 4% right now. Um, I've been draining the car over the past couple of days, driving it without charging it so that I can get into a low state of charge and therefore not waste a lot of electricity for this test. Cause I know that the car is just gonna have to bleed it all off artificially to perform this test. So I'm pretty low here. You don't have to do this, anything below 50% is okay um, but as long as you get down to below 50 percent you'll be fine i just chose to start at a low state of charge because i'm a cheapskate and i don't want to waste any energy that i paid for all right at this point you see this gateway unlock required so you hold the signal stock on the left hand side of your steering wheel up all the way that's passed to the second detent at the same time you hold down the brake pedal for about eight seconds with your key or key fob or a key card in the car and that will unlock it. And then at this point you're enabling the health test by clicking this button, the battery health test. Know that, like I said, you have to be below 50% state of charge. And also note that you have to be plugged into a supply that's six kilowatts AC charge or greater. So it won't work on your 110 outlet charger that you've been used to using, some of you. Uh, test may take a while, so don't do this if you plan on needing the car soon. Uh, but as long as it's plugged in below 50% and supplied with at least 6 kilowatts and you don't need the car for up to 24 hours, you should be okay. I'm going to click run. And it has started. As you can see, it's at 10.18 p.m. Uh, and we'll see how long it takes. But uh, so far... But so far... Uh, all I hear is a bunch of fans whirring, uh, both HVAC, but also outside the car as well. And let's take a look and see how it's doing outside. I hope you can hear me. I'm outside the car and it's extremely loud here in my garage. What you hear is the fans blowing as the car's battery is heating up all the heater filaments, all the heater elements in the vehicle, trying to burn off that excess energy, the excess state of charge, so it can conduct the test. I'm gonna monitor this for a little while on my phone from my warmer, cozier house. And I'll see how this test is going before bed, but chances are it'll be long after I fall asleep before it's done. So I'll update you here once this test is completed. I just dragged the map screen down to expose this part of the screen. It says test in progress. If you really needed to, you could stop the health test, but uh, I'm gonna let it go, of course. And I'll join you again a little later with some updates. Well, it's morning now, and you can see around 7.45, we're still going. In fact, we have an hour and 35 minutes remaining. We're at 86%, and this means that from 10.19 to 7.45 a.m., it went from about 4% to 87%, about 83%. Now, I've got the long-range battery, mind you, so my 87% is a little more kilowatt hours than... A lower range model so it would take a little longer for me but uh, just to give you a sense of how the timing is going so far I'll check back in later when the uh, test is complete but you can see that the test is still in progress and with an hour and a half left I'll be back around that time to check it out All right, the test is complete at 10.05 it just ticked over so I started at 10.19 last night so about 12 hours to complete when I started at, I think, 4% state of charge. So if you start at a higher state of charge, it will take longer. If you have a smaller battery pack, it will probably take less uh, time. 
but for my long range battery pack starting at 3% it takes about 12 hours and the results 88% battery health so that was lower than I was guessing based on this number here when at 100% I would see 299 miles. That's pretty close. Uh, previous videos you've seen, I extrapolated a 304 mile range. It's now showing a 299 mile range at 100%. So five miles of less of range than I, I guessed before I bought the car and for the last couple of months of ownership. But that being said, this car came with a 310 mile range and with 142,000 miles on it, it has only lost 11 miles, which is pretty good. It's lost, as you saw, approximately 12% of battery health, assuming it started at 100. So overall, for the price I paid for the car, $26,400 minus $4,000 for the Illinois EV uh, rebate, um, I feel very happy that this battery still has 88% health with this high mileage and that I can still get a 300 mile range car from uh, my purchase. So another quick note is that this 304 mile extrapolation calculation I did in a previous video, that was pretty close to the reality, assuming this is the new reality. Um, it is very cold today, as you can see, it's 39 degrees. So maybe that has a factor as well in how much range this car is estimating when it gets warmer again i'll do a quick follow-up and see if that changes things but i would say using this extrapolation method is a decent perhaps way to estimate your vehicle's range when you buy it and then this here is probably the next uh the higher up next more accurate uh, estimate and then perhaps the most ultimate way to estimate your range is to start the car at 100 percent um drive it to zero and see how many miles you got when you fill it back up again how many miles and how much kilowatt hours it used to go those miles so not sure if i'll do that maybe this summer when it's a little warmer out i might try that but for now i'm happy with the results here at 88 percent and hopefully this helps you as well thanks for watching the mind of matter youtube channel and stay subscribed for more updates coming soon